Hi, in this video I show you a quick, easy and efficient way to make any character walk at the right speed using the follow pass constraint. Assuming you already have a walk cycle animation and the pass, add the constraint, pick the pass, choose the right forward axis for your character and click on the used fixed position. When we used fixed position, the offset factor parameter behaves as a normalized percentage based on the length of the path. If we calculate the length of one footstep of the character, we will be able to calculate what fraction of the slider represents one footstep with a simple proportional product. And the good news is that we don't need to calculate any speed values since we know the duration of one footstep. For now, make sure the character is in a contact pose and add the first keyframe to the offset factor. Go to the next opposite contact pose and add a new keyframe. Now open the Python console. With the armature selected, go to pose mode, select the foot in front and copy the location on its forward axis. Subtract from it the value of the opposite foot. This value as an absolute number represents the length of the footstep. In other words, it is the distance the character travels in one footstep and this value is given in pose space. That means if for some reason the scale of the character is not equal to 1, this value should be multiplied by the armature scale. Now we can divide this number by the length of the path that can be obtained using this simple line of code. Copy and paste the result to the factor and replace the second keyframe. Set both of the keys in linear interpolation and add a cycle F modifier with offset mode. Your character is now walking along the path at the right speed with a mathematical precision. Of course, if you modify the path or the scale of the armature, you will need to recalculate everything, but you can also automate the process by using a driver on the offset factor itself. Blender allows us to use the Python library in driver's expressions, but it shows some warning messages. At this point, to keep everything clear, we can use a custom property set to string type and pass to it the short line of code. Just make sure to reset the value after its creation and use the evil function to evaluate the code in the driver expression. Here is an example of a full version of the driver which uses several custom properties. Voilà.